to bring you this review. Uh, the fly bubble concept. This is something we've been working on for a really long time. Many nights and many days in a dark room required to come up with this concept. Um, yeah, worked on lots of prototypes as well. Our in-house glider. So, here we go. The first thing you'll notice about the wing is it takes up so little space in your bag. So you're gonna end up with a much, much lighter pack. It's much easier to carry around. Conditions are actually perfect for this. I'll show you the unique advantages that you get with a glider designed wholly in the UK for UK conditions. Right, so the first thing about this wing that you'll really like is the setup is so quick. Glider layout, and you open it out. Just drag one wing tip out. Put a dip up there. Oh, don't walk on the glider! Oh, oh no. Okay. <laughs> it looks alright. Yeah, you pull the other wing tip out here. It's really long, so it sort of ends up over here somewhere. Uh, that's. It's perfect conditions for it, yeah. First test flight. Then you find the middle. Uh, where's the middle gone? The middle's over here. Uh, no, the middle's. The middle's. Over, uh, oh well, you just take it anyway. Doesn't matter. Then you take the lines. Okay, we went, we've gone for really long lines because nobody does it, you know. And we thought, well, nobody else is doing it, so. Why don't we try it and see what happens? So you get two risers. Um, it doesn't really matter which which side you which way you connect them on. Um, that's another advantage of our of our concept. And you can just click them into your carabiners. Just make sure that you don't get the speed bar line twisted. That's important. But otherwise, it doesn't matter which side they go on. You'll see it's a reversible glider, so it's. It's actually quite groundbreaking in terms of design. So I've got some lines behind me there. The wing's out there. You can see it there. Um, and then you sort of run backwards down the hill like this. And you give it a yank. And then you'll find it's really going to pull you up the hill. So it gives you a really long pull because the lines are so long. It pulls and pulls and pulls and then eventually it gets steady over your head like that okay well, it's quite easy to keep it there you can see it's staying nicely there when it goes over to the side it's a bit it's a bit like a kite you know one of those power kites so if you drop it off to the side and it really pulls quite a long way um it's okay you get it straight again a little bit too much brake on the one side and it really pulls you across this way but hey I mean pilots that have got good ground handling skills are good pilots so it's gonna work your ground handling skills and you'll become a better pilot um, that's sort of why we did, designed it the way we did so then you know you got it over your head uh, you need to kind of fly it when there's nobody else around because I found a problem with people flying into it all the time but that's another problem because one of the big benefits of the concept is that you can fly it in conditions when other pilots wouldn't be flying so okay let's just try for a, for a launch here I'm gonna turn around okay there we go keep it over your head try and keep it balanced and then basically just sit down like that see now that's a built-in safety feature of this wing because 
no matter how bad your paragliding skills are you're gonna be safe you get to the hill it doesn't matter how bad conditions are you got the wing up you get ready to launch it doesn't really matter what technique you use you can lean forward and put your arms through like that okay probably not so good when it's wet but then you could just stand up on your tippy toes like that and then you just sit down basically that's the launch it's very cool okay putting the glider down again you basically just pull the brakes down like that that's it the glider doesn't even pull you we worked a lot on that okay I'm glad that this goes down so you've already got a whole lot of benefits here you've got ground handling it'll teach you how to be a really good pilot because you're going to have practice you've got a wing that you can use in conditions that nobody else will fly in you've got almost 100 percent safety on your launch um, you can fly in any kind of conditions doesn't matter what your level is and you're covered um, the really long lines and the really high aspect ratio means your glider has a potential to outperform everybody else on the hill here's another benefit it doesn't really matter which way the wind's blowing you just bunch your glider up bunch it up you bunch it up Sorry, I did tell you about the long lines. So you bunch it up. Okay, and you got the wing here. So I got the bunch glider now. And the wind's blowing. The wind's blowing from I don't know, I can't really tell. I've got a windsock, so how am I supposed to know which way the wind's blowing? But basically, you can you can just ignore the other pilots. You can just put the wing down any direction, just like, like put it down like that, and you can launch in any direction. Check, watch this. It's flipping amazing. And you, then you can turn the wing like that, and you just run off the hill. That's fantastic. Fantastic. You do just pull the brakes to stop those long lines again and then you just turn and it's like instant depower because it takes at least five kilos out of your kit weight so you know we've been really thoughtful when we designed this to help pilots you know your typical pilot really struggles on the big hills that we have in the England getting back up the hill so we thought if you know we just make the glider lighter uh, it'll help a lot because of the the um, really good deal we've managed to get on the fabric um, we've been able to come in slightly underneath other manufacturers across the board so it means that you know you can get a glider cheaper which must be better um, and the other thing is, ah, I've got to tell you about the, the warranty. Um, obviously, we can't give you a refund on the glider if you break it or something like that. Um, but we can give you a lifetime warranty. I mean, this is unrivaled. Um, basically, if you break your glider, we'll replace it with another flyable concept, free of charge. Um, but you must be a legitimate customer. I mean, you really bought the glider up front. Um, you know, we have to recover our research and development costs ready for release um, early early in the season probably 1st of April um, We're still working on a color scheme Please, um, you know, you can send in your suggestions if you don't like what we've got. It's um, very easy for us to change it um, And yeah, I mean, you know, what do you got? Safety, performance price, uh, lightweight, and ease of use. There's just that little thing about the ground handling, but um, once you get used to the ground handling, you've got that dialed in, you should be okay. You should be okay. Okay, we're going to do a, a variation on the launch here. 
this is only something that you can do with, with these, this new generation of super light gliders. You basically, I mean, you've watched um, Toy Story and Woody, you know, you know what he does with the, the lasso. So basically, you got to take the glider like this, and you you just build up a little bit of momentum like that, and then you just ah, throw it like that, and it comes up. Brilliant! Look at that. And it's up and it's ready and we're off. Remember the launch? You just sit down. It's just that easy. Totally safe. Most other wings in these sort of conditions um, you know, they pick up quite a lot of moisture on the, on the wing surface. Um, particularly on a high aspect ratio wing, you know, a lot of span picks up a lot of moisture. And the wing doesn't fly so well. Um, not kind of climb up the concept. You can lay it out. You can see how much work John's having to do just in that small wing just to keep it level. <laughs> you see, I mean, it's pulling him around on the harness, you know, and that's that's really what messes things up because it's pulling you and you're trying to run. So, you know, look, I mean, look, it's lifted him off his feet, you know, <laughs> what's with that? <laughs> so, I'm actually here with a real pilot, Luke Nickel. I mean, we were at the Luke Nickel Awards last night, so um, this is live. Luke's actually one of the pilots that's been the first to see the fly level concept. Um, what did you think of it? You saw it next to you. Insane. Benefits just keep rolling in. I mean, I'm hearing from Luke here. It stops your wing blocking the view for other people. You know, it's, it's kind of just going to snowball from here. There's, there's so many benefits and very few disadvantages that um, I don't know. I mean, yeah, well, no, you didn't didn't see the launches. It's got a built-in safety feature that when you launch, no matter what the conditions are like, the launch you basically you just sit down. Oh right. So it's instant safety. Yeah. You see. We'd you like see. I mean, even John understands. It's 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 like intuitive. It just comes to you straight away. We like to see slightly higher than the ground. Though. Well, I can walk up the hill. Whoa! You see now? Now that's right there. That shows you. The flyball concept won't do that. <laughs> okay? It'll never hit somebody on the launch side. I mean, it's so rude. But, you know, you, so you win friends all the time because, you know, you're not making a mess up. And, you know, blocking people's view. I mean, look at this. Yeah, no. So. <laughs> and look, you know, when you look at competitors' wings, you see what happens. <laughs> Luke has to actually manhandle <laughs> pilots off the slope to get them to try the wing because it's you know really they really don't want to so he's forcing john into this harness and you know and then he has to fly you know you have to have this demo flight nonsense and all of that i mean who really needs to do that you can just look at the fly bubble concept straight away um and you can see you want it you can buy it you get it in the post it's like none of this faff around you can pin it down on the back risers if you want to um it's not really recommended but you can pull it in like that, pull it in like that and it won't really pull you. What you've got to be careful of is just letting it go by mistake and it pulls you over like that. Um, it's, yeah, to be honest it's a bit of a dog on the ground but um, if we come up with any improvements, we'll send you an e email and update your wing plan straight away. You know, we worked on it, but it's really, it's not so easy when the wing's so high aspect ratio. I mean, you can see the one tips over there and it runs across and the other tips over there when it's on the ground. Um, see the difference when we pull it up, I'll get to the end of the lines now. It's going to take a while. But when we pull it up, you'll see that the, the aspect ratio doesn't look so scary. Once you get it up, once you get it up overhead, like, pull it, run towards the wing, and you get it overhead, like there, somewhere there. You see, the aspect ratio is not that scary, because it typically goes into your cloud base. So, the wing's up there somewhere. Yeah, the wing's up there. Um, so, you know, it's not intimidating to fly because you can't see the wing. Um, so you just keep it up there and you develop a feeling after a while 
you can feel where the glide is you don't even have to look at it um, we copied that idea from quite a few manufacturers that you know you actually get this feeling when you pull the wing up you actually get a feeling right there on your carabiner that there's something pulling you up um, yeah to be honest we can still work on that a bit um, we haven't quite nailed it we're not sure what it is that the other manufacturers are doing that gives you that constant pressure feeling but um, if you just kind of imagine what it would feel like then you get an instant connection with the glider somewhere it's yeah it's up there and then when you're ready you kind of wait for the right cycle it's all about timing if you just if you just get the feeling and then you put your arms back like this you get the feeling and then just when you feel the power you put your weight forward like that and then you, you yeah you're safe you see that's the whole point you never ever launch into conditions that are dangerous because there's that deep power effect um, let's try one of these backwards reverse launches you know you can jump off backwards like this and when, when the power kicks in it's like that <laughs> It's brilliant and you're like you're back on your feet so yeah I mean uh, I don't know what else to say really you know it's it's something new and exciting you definitely haven't tried something like this before um, you know your friends are gonna be impressed your wife's gonna be impressed I mean just think of the safety you can sell it sell it on the safety alone and I just like the feeling of having something really extremely sexy up there you know so yeah just be careful that you keep it connected it's quite easy to lose it in the grass because of the color scheme the packing is pretty much you just loop the lines to take them really long like that because the lines are so long you can pull like that and this is the awesome thing because we don't have reinforcing rods and all that other junk in the glider you can basically just take the glider and you can just stuff it in your shirt like that okay it's quite a lot of glider it takes a while and then oh, it's starting to come out in my shoes maybe that wasn't such a good idea um we'll post a, a packing video soon on the YouTube channel but in the meantime you can go to the website order down here we'll send it to you very fast we've got a really fast courier system for this glider um, postage is free another bonus and um, you can try it out you can tell your mates what you think job done flyable concept made for you <laughs>